In all the following tests, the red object is half the mass, twice the velocity. You're about to meet a guy called Gary who doesn't believe in kinetic energy and calls it girly physics. A stupid remark against Amigle du Chatelet who gave the world so much. Baby, why can't you see that I can't just see that So this is in honor of girly physics. Thank you for your support. humble attempt to defend the reputation of Emile de Chatelet and all females who work in fields that male chauvinist pigs like Gary disapprove of. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. In all the following tests, the red object is half the mass, twice the velocity. Let's make it happen. I want to love you tonight. This is my humble attempt to demonstrate kinetic energy for cynical people like Gary to defend the reputation of Emile de Chatelet. rather have correct girly physics than Gary's macho man guessy physics that has no experimental evidence whatsoever and is always wrong it's nothing no one's making anything like an interesting video you don't have a single experiment done in the history of mankind well, I've got loads why haven't you demonstrate that a 10 ton train represented by this roll of eight coins going five miles an hour has half as much capacity to create energy as a five-ton train represented by this roll of four coins going 10 miles an hour. You don't have a single analogous experiment. I have. Why haven't you? To that experiment demonstrating where you lit more light bulbs. Represented by each of the objects inducing current in a coil, charging a capacitor, charging a capacitor, so we can read on these meters how much electricity has been produced by each of the objects. Okay with the faster object. The faster object your formula always says has more energy. And it does. Read the meters. Exactly double. Humans are pieces of shit. Disgusting, deplorable, crappy animals. They're all selfish, conniving pieces of crap, constantly saying, what's in it for me? Says the man who wants to bet $4,000 on an experiment he tried to fix. This video is a little bit unusual, but hopefully you'll enjoy it. I wanted to make it fun, including the things I love. I love science, I love music, and I love women, so let's include all three of them. I've tried to make it kind of tasteful. I know science isn't supposed to be fun, but I disagree. I think it's fantastic. I think science is beautiful, and this kinetic energy thing is particularly beautiful. It makes people think, that can't make sense. Gary here disagrees with it entirely. He's been making videos about for three months, protesting against it, saying we're all dummies for believing it. He says it's silly girly physics. Well, I've tested out this so-called silly girly physics, doing all the tests that Gary said would reveal the truth. And hey presto, the truth appears to me that he doesn't know what he's talking about. So this is a collection of little experiments that Gary said would expose the flaws in the kinetic energy formula. And yet what it actually does do is expose all the flaws in his thinking. It's hatred of women, it's hatred of science that doesn't immediately gel with him. Anyway, thank you for watching. Physics girl doesn't really know physics. Oh, that was uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. You are a fucking idiot. She doesn't get the concepts. She, you are a fucking idiot. She really doesn't get the physics. She doesn't really get the physics. She didn't really rock it. <laughs> Does anybody else need a bucket? She really doesn't get the physics. She didn't really rock it. Baby, I'm a little bit jealous. Me, I'm a little bit jealous. Did it? Yeah, I know that it's wrong. And even if I use gravity, you can press the spring the same exact amount. Of. Like this, perhaps. With the two mass object on it. Like this, two mass object. And it only goes this high. And then I put the one mass object on the same spring, press the same amount. Like this, one mass object. It goes four times higher. No, 
he doesn't. So if we bang them into a spring, they'll compress the spring the same amount. No, they won't. Put a generator on their wheel, they'll generate exactly the same amount of electricity. Mm, no, they won't. After all that we've been through. If we put bowling pins in front of them, they will knock over the same number of bowling pins. No, they won't. Once again, it's clear that the one that has half the mass but twice the velocity does the most work. So it's just silly. Show me where you actually collected that twice as much energy. This weighs the same as a solid block of steel. So this is a really good way of measuring how much energy each one of these carries. A very obvious difference between that and that. Not like a solid block of steel. Okay, same experiment again, but I've improved the shape of the red one to make sure that they really are identical, apart from the red one being half the mass of the white one. Which one did the most work? Quite clearly, that one did the most work. And, well, the results couldn't be clearer, really, could they? Show me anything that you, like where you put a generator on the wheel. No, you waste your time putting a generator on a wheel, you lazy bastard. Where you banged them into a spring. You couldn't even be asked doing this. Your total lack of effort in three months is shameful in view of the amount of pontificating you've been doing and slandering that you've been doing of good people. Fuck off. Where you had them rise, you know, with a pulley and you had them bang into the thing and then they lifted up a horse. It may come as a surprise to you, but I haven't got a fucking horse. So Gary proposed lifting horses with pulleys. I'm afraid the horses were a little bit too heavy, so I had to use pawns. Now why didn't that heavyweight one, that double weight one, have all that extra momentum, that extra energy that Gary talked of, to carry on ploughing through and lifting the horse up? No, it gave up the fucking ghost, didn't it? It didn't have enough energy, stupid bastard. You know, <laughs> show me any example where the lighter thing moving faster actually produces twice as much work. I just did. You've only asked this question 300 times in the last three months. I've downloaded all your transcripts from the last three months since December, searched for the phrase, show me, and it appears about 300 times. You can do it yourself. You're a moron. You're a moron. You're a moron. Show me it. Do you want us to wipe your ass for you as well? Do you want us to peel you a grape? You bone idle fucker. We well, can't show me because it's stupid. No, Gary, it's all your ideas that are stupid. Like that radar one saying, get a directional antenna and point it at just one of the transmitter horns and ignore the other one and the pattern will go away. Oh, will it? Let's have a look. By just using directional antennas. Well, it looks like the pattern's still there. So you've been preaching this nonsense for three bloody years and you're wrong again. Three years of listening to you pontificate this nonsense. You can just prove there can't be any interference in space. I'm going to cut the video off here now anyway. I did actually record another 20 minutes worth, but uh, I don't really want to make a, a long video because there's a lot of information to take in. Second thoughts, I'm going to tag on a few minutes uh, relating to Gary's proposed experiment, which I think is a cheat. You're just dupes. Not my fault. You're stupid. You're lazy. You're stupid. You're lazy. You're lazy. You're lazy. The reason Gary's proposed experiment is highly questionable 
to say the very least. Gary has chosen this experiment because it misrepresents the half mv squared formula. We are lulled into the false idea that the spring is necessarily going to accelerate that half weight to the to twice the speed, twice the velocity of this double mass. And it isn't. It's barely accelerating this any faster. This demonstration shows it's easy to cheat the experiment. And hey, Presto, he's got your $4,000. There's a good reason he's trying to get you all to bet as much money as possible and make him rich. <laughs> because he's a scoundrel. He's a lousy cheating scoundrel. The other experiments do show that the half mv squared thing works perfectly fine. It's only this experiment, the very one that Gary happens to be proposing, that he's obviously tested at home before suggesting to you guys, go on, put up as, money, as much money as you dare, because it's a cheat. If the light one isn't going very much faster than the heavy one, then they don't have the same momentum. That has more momentum there. But if this half mass one is going double the velocity of this one, then they have the same momentum. This has more kinetic energy, and therefore it will generate twice as much electricity. It will deflect the spring twice as much. Let's make it happen. I want to love you tonight. Your body needs to It will lift the horse twice as high. I'm afraid the horses were a little bit too heavy, so I had to use pawns. It will move twice as many marbles or whatever. These are heavy duty staples that only bend a certain way. They're like a solid block of steel, really. a clear result. Maybe I ought to figure out what I'm talking about before I talk about it. Yeah, a very obvious difference between that and that. Give it another go. Again, a very obvious difference between that and that. These are heavy duty staples that only bend a certain way. They're like a solid block of steel, really. But this experiment that Gary's proposing here is not the same thing. It's a way of bamboozling you into thinking that you are seeing the half mv squared thing demonstrated. It's not, because the spring isn't necessarily able to accelerate this to twice the velocity of that to make these have equal momentum. This ends up having more momentum than that. I've just randomly slowed them down, so you can't really judge how fast they were going from the slow mode. But you can judge how fast they were going from the amount they compressed the spring. Because if you compare to the earlier examples, where that was going twice the velocity of that, and that being half the weight of that, this has more kinetic energy, can deflect the spring approximately twice as much, produces twice as much electrical energy. Half the mass, double the velocity of that one. There's no easy way to say it. Gary was wrong. Gary is wrong. He's often wrong. I'm sorry what he is. And his supporters generally know no better. It's not their fault. They know nothing about physics. They listen to him talking and he sounds like Ken Wheeler. So they think, oh, he sounds like he knows a thing or two. He uses all the big words, but he doesn't know what half of them mean. He's just wrong. Experiment shows that he's wrong. What can you do? Experiment shows that he's wrong. The very thing that Gary says could not happen and we cannot demonstrate happening. And I've demonstrated does happen. So the red one is half weight, twice the velocity. The very thing that Gary says could not happen and we cannot demonstrate happening. And I've demonstrated does happen. I've demonstrated it lifts the horse. Well, in this case, a pawn of a chest set twice as high. So Gary proposed lifting horses with pulleys. I'm afraid the horses were a little bit too heavy, so I had to use pawns. Gary 
is wrong. That's the sad truth. Please don't bet on him. In all probability, he's done his experiments and he's keeping quiet about it. He's not letting you know that he's done the work. So you are fooled into thinking that he's coming at this that fresh. Just be cautious with Gary. I wouldn't buy a raffle ticket from him. Maybe I ought to figure out what I'm talking about before I talk about it. Oh, my God.